All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for, you know, two, maybe three real people out there just like you and just like me. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel and watching these annoying videos. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Eric Clapton before I uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, here's Colin James. If you don't know who Colin James is, uh, Okay, where have you been? All right, uh, this album came out, I believe, like two years ago now. It's called Open Road. Um, phenomenal guitarist. I was introduced to Colin James back in my early radio days where you could play music like this on rock stations. Yeah, mainstream rock stations would play Colin James, and we were playing a tune called Why'd You Lie? Why'd You Lie? And, um, Every time we play that song, the phones would just light up. I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, because phones and lighting up, um, in the studio, the phone would ring, and it had a light on it, all right? Kind of like a bat phone, and uh, the light would go off because it can't ring in the studio, and I'd pick up the phone, and they'd be like, who's that? I'm like, Colin James. They're like, dude, that's a great song. So anyway, um, check out Open Road. He's still making quality music all these years later doesn't seem to age that much as well so good on him colin james a great guitarist eric clapton also a great guitarist and here's the bad news for all the people over at rolling stone and all the rock publications who uh, write these word salads when they talk about eric clapton and they go back to 1976 and they try to make him into this person that he's not and because he has a different opinion on you know um certain medical products which are being uh shilled on people i mean you can't watch a commercial i mean i'm sorry you can't watch a show <laughs> you really can't watch a commercial but you can't watch a show without seeing a pharma ad or two or three or five i mean it's ridiculous so you know um people tend to be skeptical and i don't think eric clapton is wrong to be skeptical especially since something uh happened when he actually did uh what they advised him to do all of the so-called experts they told him to go ahead and do this so you can play live concerts he did it twice he did it twice so for all of those uh, people who are kind of missing that point because it's reporting by omission, this is what the media likes to do, um, Eric Clapton did go to CVS twice, all right? Maybe not CVS. I'm, I'm thinking he had somebody maybe show up uh, and um, administer the wonderful, safe, and effective uh, potion that he took, and then all of a sudden he couldn't, couldn't feel his hands. Well, it was one of the things that happen. So in any event, um, this is bad news for all of those people who are rooting for Eric Clapton to just retire. Uh, it's been announced that Eric Clapton will be out there in 2024. Um, that's pretty amazing. Eric Clapton has announced four concerts in France in 2024. The shows announced on November 13th, which uh, was yesterday, uh, we'll follow a brief tour of the UK and Ireland that were revealed last June. Clapton, who turned 78 on March 30th, had a fairly busy 2023 schedule with a residency at the Budokan in Tokyo, Japan in April, a pair of tribute concerts that he organized for Jeff Beck that were held on May 22nd and 23rd at uh, London's Royal Albert Hall. By the way, Jimmy Page was invited to that event. Um, he didn't show up there, but he did uh, play an instrumental at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that people, for some reason, are still talking about, along with five U.S. concerts and his Crossroads Guitar Festival, his first since 2019, and that happened uh, back in September. Tickets for the France concerts go on sale November 16th. Most of the shows are still available to buy tickets for at least uh, right now as I deliver um, this information. Um, 2023 marked Clapton's 60th year as a professional musician. The legendary guitarist joined the Yardbirds in 1963 
and the following years saw him join uh, John Mayall's Blues Breakers, Cream, Blind Faith, Delaney and Bonnie and Friends, and Derek and the Dominoes, along with a solo career spanning five decades. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, what is he, number 39 on the Rolling Stone guitarist list now? Clapton is frequently, frequently accompanied by his long-running concert band, including the great Nathan East on bass. Man, Chris Staten on keyboards. Paul Carrick, Paul, the legendary Paul Carrick, keyboards and backing vocals. A Doyle Bromhall II as like a backup guitarist, right? <laughs> Sonny Emery on drums. And you've also got Sharon White and Katie Kassoon as uh, background singers. Clapton's frequent uh, opening act, Jimmy Vaughn, uh, did the honors uh, during the North American concerts in September. I'm not sure if Jimmy will be there uh, for these shows next year. After years of eschewing tours for clusters of individual shows, Clapton also had a busy 2022 with a European tour during the spring and a U.S. tour in September where he said, hey, you know what? You don't need a QR code to go to my shows. And then, you know, they pinned him down on one show in Louisiana or something where the venue was requiring it and he had nothing to do with that. And so they were trying to make it out like it was his fault that they were doing that and that he was a hypocrite and all this stuff. Um, I've never seen such negative media attention thrown on somebody who is a really decent person. I, I know this firsthand and um, who loves music, who loves to get out there and still perform and who's very, I don't want to use the word viable because I don't know if Eric will like that. But a lot of guys his age, um, yeah, they're playing shuffleboard and they're they're not out doing any events. I mean, Eric Clapton technically doesn't need to do any more concerts. And the media is hoping still that he would somehow have a dignified retirement. I'm sure that might happen someday. Or, you know, he might be like B.B. King and just keep going. I mean, look, these guys who just, these blues guys just keep on keeping on. John Mayall was very old when he retired. I think he was almost 90 years old, something like that. So in any event, um, it'd be okay if uh, Eric wanted to go on for the next 10 years or so. Um, let's just pray that he stays healthy because, you know, he did go to CVS a couple of times and hopefully he's detoxed, right? Um, here's Colin James again, open road. This is really great stuff. Um, if you like Eric Clapton, you might like Colin James, a bit of a different style, but, uh, in the same bucket, you know, it's the blues rock bucket and, uh, it's, it's a, it's a good bucket and it used to be a radio bucket, but no longer, um, they've kind of kicked the bucket. Sorry. Had to say that at the end. Um, thanks for watching folks. Please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit the bell, you know, that, uh, notification bell. You can smack the bell and get uh, updates or at least uh, alerts when I post a new video. That is if it works. <laughs> Some people tell me it doesn't work. And so, you know, you have to then just be very alert. You know, you'll have to kind of refresh the page and look and see, oh, he's got a new video out there. Watch the video. Um, also, if you can support the channel, I do mention this. Why do I mention this? Because I've lost about half my income since this time last year so if you can help me out that would be amazing a dollar two bucks three bucks a month i am a big supporter obviously of eric clapton um he did some interviews with me if you didn't know that that's why i said i kind of know this from a personal standpoint because i know eric clapton all right and a lot of people say things about eric clapton and they have no idea who he is so it's sad it's just the world we're living in, folks, and uh, the media, they just love to dump on this guy for no reason other than to uh, make themselves important and uh, to make Eric not look so important. And again, this is uh, the greatest living guitarist we have right now. So uh, if you have a chance to see him over in Europe or wherever, uh, go do it. You know, um, I would if, if I had that opportunity and I was close by, uh, I would definitely check out Eric Clapton. So that's my video. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.